Imagine saving up enough money to buy your dream car, then watching it burst into flames in your driveway. The owners are now battling the popular car maker for an explanation of how it happened. Oh, it's just unbelievable. It was terrifying. Caught on security camera the moment a BMW catches fire. To see something that you've paid so much money for, having this incident happen was just um, unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. The car's just been driven home and parked on a concrete driveway before it appears to spontaneously combust. When they check the vision, Faye Zoe and her partner Ambrose McCulloch can't believe what they're seeing. The car's completely full of smoke, and then before long, it's, it's completely engulfed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very traumatic experience for my parents. Faye's parents own the BMW. It was Faye's dad, Shaudi, who filmed this vision of the car exploding in flames on his phone after he smells smoke and calls triple zero. I called the police, I called the fire warning. Having my parents seeing that happen and thinking, oh, we could have been in the car when that happened is just terrifying for them. It's the fire from the car border. Just, just go off. A few minutes, all go, gone. all the car is finished. Gone. Yeah. Migrants to Australia, English is the Zoe's second language, so daughter Faye is speaking on their behalf. We, we had no idea that this would happen to a car that was so new and um, only serviced at BMW and no modifications whatsoever. Um, my parents have taken very good care of the car. Not much to love now. This video taken the morning after the fire shows a burnt out shell. You can also see the fireball destroyed the air conditioning unit, the fence beside it, blew out the neighbor's windows and came dangerously close to two gas bottles next door. And within days of this happening, your parents take the security camera video to BMW. What do they say? And they are not taking any responsibility um, at all. They just sent us away. And I think you were saying told them basically to claim it on insurance. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. It looks like it caught fire by itself and it exploded. Solicitor Richard Mitry says these kind of car fires are more common than people think. I think a car manufacturer acting reasonably and really caring not only about public perception but more importantly about public safety would firstly investigate what's happened. Faye and Ambrose say when the Zoes bought the car, there was an interpreter provided by the dealership to help them. But when they went to ask questions about the fire, they had no one to translate. It would be really sad if, if you know, they'd been discriminated against effectively because, you know, maybe people there, they go, well, they're not asking the right questions, they're not, they're not able to push us hard enough, so we'll just brush it aside. Not so, says a lawyer acting for the dealership, Motorline BMW on Brisbane's south side, which sold the Zoes the car. In a letter to Faye, it says, our client made a number of attempts to contact Mr. Shouty Zoe in order to request information regarding the insurance assessment of the vehicle, which were not responded to. And any loss that's been suffered by your parents has demonstrably been covered by insurance think you're doing the right thing claiming insurance and then they come back from the lawyer and say well if they've claimed the insurance we have we, we no longer have any liability. Faye says after the police determined there were no suspicious circumstances the insurance company settled with her parents. Now the Zoes paid $113,000 for their BMW four years ago. Insurance paid out $66,000 that was market value. 56,000 of that went to pay off a loan on the car and the family said they couldn't afford to buy a new one. In a statement to a current affair, a spokesperson from BMW Australia says... BMW is aware of the thermal incident and can confirm that the safety of our customers has and always will be BMW's top priority. 
We have received no details of the current location and condition of the vehicle and haven't been provided with the opportunity to inspect it. We have also not received any correspondence from the insurance company regarding this vehicle to suggest there was a defect. So insurance covered the rest of the car loan, um, property damages and that's it. You can't prove the fault, I mean of course you can't, the vehicle's burnt to the ground but like you kind of have to go well these are the circumstances. It couldn't have been anything else, surely.